Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day, truly at the height of their powers, their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall, and it is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing. 
facing the challengers at a combined weight of 439 pounds, Damien Priest and Finn Balor, the Judgment Day! And their opponents at a combined weight of 505 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the O.C. So that's what it's all about, the Tag Team Titles. That's the bell, and the OC is here, set for action. There are really no egos in the OC, guys. They love to fight, and then have a good time outside the ring. That's what happens when you spend as much time making money and making towns as these dudes have, Cole. All that matters after that is the company you keep, and the OC knows that all too well. A very tight-knit crew, you have to admire that. And with the tag titles on the line, you can bet this one's gonna be pure mayhem. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh, God! Stomping away, and then the knee right into the throat. Just ruthless. Going to any lengths to protect the title. If that means bending the rules slightly, then so be it. Unable to counter. Excellent opportunity for Priest to shift the momentum. That could be the spark Damian was looking for. Ah, oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Making sure the champ will have difficulty carrying anything. <laughs> Honing in on the arm there. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. On the throat in the corner. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh, my God. Champion, he's still in this. A uh, hammerlock now, but hilarious. Anderson's toughness was called into question by that offense. Oh, the elbow connects. Uh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. Trying their opponent's arm out. Oh, my goodness. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. That's mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Tossed into the corner. Uh-oh. Face first. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Searching for any advantage towards the title. Trying to dismantle the champ's arm. Force applied to every inch of the arm with that one. longer and he gets the tag talking trash forearms to the face Looks like Priest is feeling it. Able to get there in time. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. 
stiff punch. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. And tag, he's in now. Finally. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Attacking the arm. The champ targeting that arm. If the challenger can defend or strike, they're going to be in a hazardous situation. Jumping, leaping attack. The champ getting put to the test here. Display of will in the late stages of this matchup. Oh man! Ouch! There he goes, right into the corner. He catches Gallows with a big counter. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Lands a kick to the gut. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Oh, an arm breaker. Luke Gallows tagged in. Here comes the double team. What are they going to do here? Anderson muscles up his opponent. Gun stun. Now that is why they're the champ. Try to end it. The champion thought that was it. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. Everything possible was done to win there, but it just fell short. Ooh, ouch. Slides him back to the mat. What a crossbody. And set right into the corner. Solely focused on in the corner. Slide blade. Followed up with a, and a basement drop kick. Reaches his partner for the tag. Anderson is in a very vulnerable position here. Priest has his opponent up. Powerbomb. The champ's eyes look glazed over. That should have been three. And Gallows reverses. Oh, the spear! Tag switching it up.
Looks like Carl Anderson is locked in on his opponent. Pointing the leg. Ouch. Ooh. Here's a snapmare. Followed by a knee. To retain the title. Title match stays alive. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Dang. Finds its mark. Luke Gallows in with the tag. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Now, this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules using the forearm to their advantage. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. My God, enough! Kick out after one. Still not enough to put him away. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Launching. Oh, what a splash. The champ not in a great place. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Off the rope. Beautiful. All the way down to the outside. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. And gets tossed back into the mat. Damian looking to embarrass his opponent. What a shot! And it looks like that opened Gallows right up. Sent into the corner. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Uh -oh. And he's able to fight Priest off. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. Tagging his partner in now. Rocket kick. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. has him lined up. Damian Priest. Rip locked in. Self ahead of choke slam. Gonna see a new champ. Nice close line. The WWE Universe is on its feet. And deservedly so. These superstars are holding nothing back. Oh my. Discus punch. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. Partner tags in. Oh, square shot, but the back elbows ends that. Hoist it up. Suplex! And it's a cover by the champ. The challenger's able to kick out. You got a question, how much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. Oh, it's ruthless striking. Punch connects. That didn't look good for Balor. And we can see. Carl Anderson, fireman carry. Into the gun stun. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Down. And he makes the save for his team. Luke Gallows tagged in. Oh, what a high kick. Luke drawing a big reaction from the crowd. Set up in the corner of the ring. 
Ooh. Caught the leg. A blow to the back of the neck. And that's going to impair Luke even more. Yeah, Balor wants to wreak as much havoc on his opponent as possible. Basement drop kick. It is absolutely death on her down. Championship on the line. Got it. No, just a two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? from Luke Gallows here. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Hoist it up. Man, what a gut buster. Oh! Wow, got it. Big time tag team win. to them tonight. It would have been great to see a pinfall or submission win here. Quite a shame it ended by count out. Tegan Knox looking ready for a fight. Yeah, she wants to show this crowd what she can do. Yeah! The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. Introducing first, from the Welsh Valley, Tegan Knox. Well, Tegan was betrayed by her former best friend, Dakota Kai, in the first ever women's war games match. All that says to me is that Tegan Knox simply isn't a very good best friend. Saxton? Saxton? I deserve my comment. Saxton? Well, a feel-good story every time Tegan Knox competes. The High Flying Hall of Famer. And her partner from Sanford, North Carolina, Rita! A true fearless daredevil, the Hall of Famer herself, Lita. Haley, a couple of women have held the original women's championship more than Lita. And Lita can still compete at a level to overtake them, I guarantee you.
The Queen of Spades about to grace the WWE Universe with true submission expertise. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler! A menacing look in her eye. Michael, I think you mean terrifying? Baszler is ready to subdue any and all opposition she encounters. Baszler just absolutely loves combat in any form. You say that like it's a bad thing. Is it just me or does Shayna sometimes seem mean-spirited? They call that killer instinct, Saxton. And trust me, it's a good thing. It's time to square up. Sonya Deville is all business, all attitude. And from Shemong, New Jersey, Sonya Deville! Throughout her career, Sonya has shown her adaptability as a tag team competitor, a single star, and even a backstage official. You absolutely cannot trust Sonya, but you can depend on the fact that she will do anything to reach the top of WWE. Sonya Deville ready to assert some authority and dominance in the ring. She better get it done there because she can't abuse her powers backstage anymore. These teams are ready to test each other in this tag team matchup. As we get this battle underway, we're about to see Tegan Knox and Lita. And across from them, they will be squaring off with Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville. And trust is key to victory in a match like this. If you don't have a tag partner you can rely on, you might as well pack it in now. That's how you wear down your opponent. I take her head clean off her shoulders. Elbow drop. Piercing. Gets tagged in. Places her right in the corner. Some unique offense in store here. Dragon sleeper applied. Oh my God, from the top rope. Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh my God. She's tagged in. And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Ooh, look at her answering back. Oh, and a forearm smash. Oh, stomping away. Can she do it here? She kicks out in one. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Tagged in. Looks like Baszler is psyching herself up. Reaches her partner. Tag. Just in time. Running Hurricane Rana. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. And right there, Shanna being shown that her competition isn't lacking a fighter's mentality themselves. The competitor in Tegan is coming through here. Kick to the gut. Dragged around into a neck breaker. That's what they call me, the hot shot. What a punch. Now they did palm strikes. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Delicious. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Scooped up. Bridging fall away slam. Impressive. Come on, 
Going up on the middle rope. Striking the lower back. Now the superstar from the apron. Knee lifts over and over again. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Tag made. Tag made. Endless kicks to the gut. And dropping the hand, too. Man, knee strike. Turning the tables. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. And into the count. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. A show of confidence from Lita. Delivering the suplex. Power drop kick. Lands face first. Tagging her partner in. Maybe a little shaken after that attack. And that's Tegan's aggression starting to ratchet up. Knox drops her opponent down the one knee. Exclamation delivered by Knox. That's gotta be it. Ooh. Ooh, that might have just broken something. And the kidneys. Golly. DeVille struggling to defend herself. Sonya keeps getting cut down. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Just hot shot it to the outside. Oh! She's going up. Top rope here. And the winners celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. That wasn't just a win, Cole. That was a top-level tag team performance. Take it from a former NXT tag champ. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. A man who exceeded all expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. This is a man who is always looking to steal the show and win titles. Endless confidence in his abilities with his proven track record. And no doubt about it, Cole Styles is excellence personified. Truly second to none in the ring. The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gautama! Six foot four, 265 pounds. Gunther is steadfast, commanding, imposing. He is the ring general for a reason. Untouchable and unmatched in the ring. And don't forget, unrelenting. Gunther never lets up and never backs down. Gunther is always ready to demolish anyone who dares come in his path. And if you don't respect him, he'll make sure that you fear him. It is the ring general's battlefield, and he is ready to conquer. The ring general Guther ready to wage war in the ring here. Go for it. Trying to step through. More on their belly. Stunning display of power. What reflexes? Looking for the pin. He kicks out instantly. He's not even close to being done yet. What a forearm. Oh, oh, that's that's the line. It's cinched in. This could be a. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Ouch. Oh, man. Ooh. By the throat into the top rope. Oof. And this match will head back to the ring. Backbreaker, face first, lethal combination. AJ Styles, of course, known for his athleticism and tenacity, but Corey, what's the biggest key to success for the phenomenal one here tonight? If I have to choose just one aspect of Styles' game, Cole, I'd say it's that tenacity you mentioned, that pitbull mentality of Styles. At the end of the day, that's going to be the thing that allows him to stand on his own two feet heading out of this match. Able to get the advantage here. Great strength being shown here. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Oh, what a suplex. And AJ might have to adjust those big aspirations he has for himself after taking that hit. Gunther wants to finish this. Driven down with the powerbomb. Big opening for Gunther to take this. Wow, just barely making it out. AJ's pit bull mentality wouldn't allow him to stay down. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Gunther gets stymied. A uh, slingshot, forearm smash. Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. 
He's one step ahead there. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Guttner looking to attack from above. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching for an open. Here we go. All the way to the outside. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Not the position you want to be in right now. Don't do this. Don't do it. And that will halt her styles at this junction. That attack was a cacophony of catastrophe from Gunther. Did you hear that impact? Oh, look out. It's on now. Boom. So much pride. So much resiliency on display. The fight is on, and it's furious. Slugging away with everything they've got. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. Well, kicks like that are less about injury, more about insult. Just mocking their opponent right now. The ring general, a power bomb. AJ is out, that's it. He put him away, he picks up the win. Here is your winner, Gunther! Another triumph for Gunther here. I never doubted Gunther for a second. Gunther doesn't seem surprised either. He expected to win. Hey, this lady means business. Yeah, crooked business. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, Becky Lynch. I talked to her earlier today, and she said she plans to do an even better job than our normal officials. That's a high bar to aim for. We have the best reps around here in WWE. See, I actually think you can be too good at refereeing. No one actually wants to see all the rules enforced. They definitely do, Corey. Definitely. Take a look at this woman. She is going to show everyone how it's done. Really? I mean, she's a great competitor, but I'm not looking forward to seeing her follow the rule book.
the self-proclaimed GOAT. You know, since Trish's return to WWE, she has been relentless in attacking her foes with a level of aggression we've never seen from her before. Oh, at times early in her career, Trish had a thankless job. You do that for long enough, and the aggression just comes naturally. Trish just isn't content to be thanked anymore. She wants revenge. One of the most dominant forces the women's division has ever seen, Rhea Ripley. The Eradicator is here. Messing with Rhea Ripley is just plain dangerous. Her power, her intensity, and her complete lack of remorse makes her a one-of-a-kind threat. Well, what's really scary is it seems like Rhea is only getting stronger, more lethal. She's deadlier today than she was even just yesterday. Ripley seems more than happy to get things started. Introducing the challenger from Toronto. The crowning jewel of the women's division being contested here. The final moments to focus on the prize before turning your attention on the competition. Wants it. Few get the distinction of holding it. This match is for the WWE Women's Championship. The prestige cover. Denying a two count there. Such a timely kick out. No funny business with that count. She just got right down to business. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. And gotta give our referee credit. She wasn't trying to influence the result there. Yeah. Right, here we go. In front of DDT. Lights out. She goes back inside the ropes. Two-handed. The champion into the cover. 
She kicks out with authority after two. And our guest referee counting the pin right down the line. Consistency with the cadence. You can't say she wasn't impartial. And a slap, too. The champion just teed off. Our challenger found no way to break free there. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pulled that slam. The challenger eating up some damage. Ripley clearly enjoying her infliction of agony. When it comes to Rhea Ripley, what is going to be the key to her finding success in this matchup? Rhea needs to unleash herself completely if she wants to make the win tonight. We need to see the nightmare going all out, throwing everything she's got at her opposition. Trish making a mockery of her opponent. Stops Ripley's attack. Watch out! Driving their opponent down with a bulldog. Stratus with authority. Protecting her legacy one impressive move at a time. Oh, new champ! She kicks out with authority. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh, and then the chest as well. And the DDT. The hits adding up a little on the champ. And that's the kind of offense that's made Stratus a trailblazer in this division. Ripley with the wherewithal to counter. Up and around and down. Oh, perfect kick. Oh, man. And again in the other direction. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. Boston Crab applied it. Uh, not sure what the ref thought they saw there, but apparently there was contact with the ropes. Kick to the gut by Ripley. Fire by Riptide. Another one bites the dust to the champ. What? I'm absolutely stunned. A display of near superhuman resilience. After seeing that, it's hard to imagine. Wait a second. What the heck's going on here? Then a thunderous form to follow. If this works, it could change the course from the top. Through the air. It connects. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. Rear rip. Electric chair. Wait a minute. Reversed into a hurricane runner. Round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Climbs back inside. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Abdominal stretch. I'm not sure she can escape out of this. And yes, she does. Turns the tides. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. And Trish Stratus looking for some stratosphere with the championship on the line. Ah, oh, the champ narrowly kicks out. And what kind of relaxed count was that? Yeah, I know counting to three can be hard, but maybe someone should remind our official that it's part of the job. He never wanted to assault a referee, but I can't say I'm surprised. These competitors have been unloading on each other since the bell. Just looking for that. Trish Stratus all set up for a special delivery. Oh, Stratus faction. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. The cover. Oh, the champ avoids the three count. That was a matter of a fraction of a second. And Stratus thought she had it there, but she can't let up on her opponent now. All measured up. Oh, oh, drop kick to the back. Uh, 
she's fighting back. Clothesline. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. Look out! Slingshot sent time. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Ooh, well measured. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Thrown back in under the ropes. Ripley is headed up top. From the top. And okay, that count shows he's not bad at this ref thing. Give the ref credit. That's a fair count. The powerhouse, Rhea Ripley, looking to force her opponent into submission. Submission locked. She is determined to escape. It's absolute pandemonium in here. And it's all because of the willpower these superstars are showing. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Quick count out after one. And the referee just doing exactly what she's supposed to do. With this much at stake, she's taking her officiating duties very seriously. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. Settles in. Submission on the core of the spine here. She uses her power to escape. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing them aside. A little psychological warfare at play here from the Nightmare. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. No one knows how to get a crowd going quite like Trish Stratus. Oh, reminding her that she did not come here to play games. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Taking flight. Body splash. And that could be a step towards overcoming Rhea late in this match. Rhea Ripley with the victory time. But champions need to finish the job. She successfully defends her crown. What a battle. The champion was faced with a formidable adversary, but was able to overcome the challenge.